Dr. Sunil this side. I will be taking the next session that is HTML document object model. So here learner will adapt at implementing the client side interface through use of document object model and learner will also able to describe the structure of W3 consortium document object model and it will also use to how to use learn how to use JavaScript to access DOM object. So here uh, it is being required uh, user have a essential knowledge of HTML and JavaScript. So what is the need of DOM? What is need of document object model? So whenever HTML page is loaded in a browser, what it does? Browser assemble all the elements, all the HTML of elements. Later on, we will see they are called being objects contained in the HTML page. They are downloaded from the web, web server in the memory. So after doing assembly of the all the HTML element, browser renders or paint these object in browser window. Once the HTML page is rendered in the browser window, the browser can no longer recognize individual element. Now, after rendering all the HTML elements in the browser window, browser cannot recognize the individual HTML elements that is objects. So after HTML being loaded in the browser, JavaScript cannot understand HTML document directly. So hence the corresponding document is being created and this document is called document object model that is called DOM and basically DOM is a representation of the same HTML document same HTML document which is already been loaded in the browser but in different format with the HTML format with the use of objects. Now what it what does DOM DOM creates first DOM specify how browser create a model of HTML page then JavaScript accesses update HTML pages. So what is object object model? Object model is a basically represent the whole document and documents are being modeled using objects. So model include not only the structure but also the behavior of the document means how it is how this document is going to behave how this document is going to work so whenever whenever html document is loaded in the browser it becomes document object so and this document object is a root element which represents the html document and with the help of document object we can add dynamics we can add some functionality dynamic content to our web page so now let's take what is HTML DOM? Every web page reside in browser window, which we which can be considered as object. So document object the represent the HTML document, which is being displayed in the window. And document object has various property, which refer to other object, which allow access to and modification of the document content. So JavaScript arrange objects in a document object model or DOM and JavaScript interpret DOM easily and it cannot understand tags like H1, other HTML tags in HTML document but it can understand object in H1 in DOM. So, Document object model cannot can be thought as a hierarchy 
moving from most general to specific. So HTML DOM is a standard object model and programming interface for HTML. What it does? It defines the HTML element as object, property of the HTML elements, method, how to take actions to access all the HTML elements, events for the all HTML elements. These are the which have been defined in HTML DOM. Now DOM programming interface. DOM can be HTML DOM can be accessed with JavaScript and with the other programming languages. In the DOM, all the HTML elements are defined as objects as I, we have already been discussed and there are and programming interface is the properties and method of each object. Property is what is value which we can set, we can change it like content of a HTML element. Method is action we can do like deleting or adding with a deleting an HTML element. JavaScript DOM method, they are the actions which we can perform on the HTML element. HTML DOM property are value of element that can set or change. All the HTML elements along with their containing text and attribute can be accessed through DOM. So DOM, HTML DOM provide access to the HTML objects. Content can be modified, deleted and new element can be created. DOM, DOM present the HTML document as a tree structure and which describe the tree like representation of the document. W3 consortium according to uh, W3C it DOM is a standard model and it defines standard for accessing HTML and XML document. So if we define it W3C consortium document object model is a platform and language neutral interface which allow program to script to dynamically access, update the content and the structure and style of the document. So this is a standard object model for HTML. This is a standard programming interface for HTML and which defines the object and property of the HTML elements and the methods to access them. So HTML DOM is a standard for how to get, change, add, delete HTML element. So if you look at the hierarchy, how HTML DOM, how objects are being organized in, in the hierarchy. Like we have a window, we have different objects are there. So DOM hierarchy, in hierarchy window object is the topmost which contain other object like list current frame, history, list and the web document and web page document contain the own set of objects like links, anchors, form and within a form we have a different objects like uh, input boxes, radio button, se uh, selection list. So let's take first one window object. Window is the object of browser which is always the top of hierarchy. It is like an application programming in interface which is used to set and access all the properties and method of the browser. And it is already automatically created by the browser. Window object. Window object, when window object is running in the browser, there is always a current window object. And window contains the document object. Document object contain anything we see on the web page. And window document refers to the document object of the current window. If you want to see the content of the document like this, we want to uh, declare current, we want to see the property method of the current window, we can give without saying window. Example, alert hello. This means window dot alert hello. Document write, some text is there, means window. Document, whenever 
HTML document is loaded in the window, it becomes document object. So here we can access the content of our access and the content of the web page. And whenever we want to access some element on HTML page, we have to start with accessing document object. Document object is the property of window object. Other objects are form object. It represents the form tags. Link, it represents the link tags. Anchor, it represents H -A -H -R -E -F tags. Form control, which can control element like text field, buttons, radio button, checkbox, etc. HTML DOM objects, anchor objects, document object, event object, form, form input object, frame, frame set, iframe objects, then image object, etc. Now, what is event? Event is an action which can take which that which acts on the HTML object, HTML elements, so which can occur event occurs as a result of some activity like we press click me there is some event being called and some action will be done suppose we want to build some account registration form and you want to catch the event when the user clicks on the registration button it shows actions such as data validation as soon as we press the clicks uh, click button it will it may show you the data validation notification if user enter the con content incorrectly event event may be it kind of actions which may occur as a result of some activity like user may click on link of a page page finished loading mouse cursor enter an area preset amount of time elapsed form is being submitted etc how do we manage events event can be managed is a specific occurrence within the web browser like opening up a web page positioning the mouse pointer on location of page so events are important part of the javascript programming we can write the script that run on response of the action of the user even after page has been open so event handler there is a another Another concern is there, event handler. This is segment of code to, to be executed when event occurs. We can specify event handler as an attribute in the HTML page. Like AHRF, on click, alert by. So these are the event handler as attribute. So there are other event handler are there on change on click on db click on mouse down on load on submit on reset on link load on resize so these are the different handler event handlers or here like on submit button we when form is being uh, submitted like on reset when form is reset on click like image of the form element is being clicked once so there are different handlers and in the left side there are the name of the event handler in the right column we have some actions or uh, the meaning of these event handlers so first one is on load on load we have mentioned in the head then we have taken body on load alert welcome to Uttarakhand Open University H3 JavaScript on load event example. You will be see alert box on showing alert message on the body. This is the paragraph. Look at this output of this on load event example. Here, as soon as we, if we look at this code, here, as soon as we press on load, as soon as we run this code, we will be having alert the loading page is loaded successfully and here this will be the message will be flushed on the as soon as we press ok we'll get javascript overloaded 
event now event handler on click event handler next take one another more and example language is english we have given in doc type the prolog of the html over here then div class buttons button on click event click event value button 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 on click click value button 2 there are two buttons are there button 1 button 2 and function on click event console log event target value is clicked so there are two buttons are being displayed button 1 and button 2 and these are the uh, on the um, on the on click event handler events so here there are button 1 and button 2 values are will be displayed on the screen as a output now window example uh, we want to have a let h window outer height this w uh, there are two variables window outer width and window document write height and width of the window plus h plus w and this program will display the height and width of the window that is 816 and 1536 this is the uh, width of the screen and uh, and height is 816 these are the number of positions number of pixels are there there are some ways to find the html dom html element for example we want to use html id h2 like uttarakhand open university s2 finding the html pid pid intro computer science portal for uou this will display and then constant element document get element id intro and this will display uttarakhand open university computer science portal so this will display the, basically this is going to display the according to the id id we have given over here so when event is being initiated by the user there are three stages over there one there is a auto focus is there cursor is blinking and when user enters some value then press enter the action is being taken so for example, uh, we want to find the element ID of HTML DOM element. So here we give ID intro and we give uh, say computer science portal for you or you example instead the get element by ID. So when we then script is constant element document get element ID intro. So by intro it will fetch the data then document get id demo insert html then uttarakhand open university so here uh, we will have a values output in output we will have a uttarakhand open university computer science portal for uou then thereafter the message being displayed there by site then another is get element by id one more example is there so here uh, variable v document get element by id my header i am a x tag name element so on my header on click my element click on to see what element output so as soon as you will run this code will we have an output click to see what element i am this is getting the value my header this is id is my header so if you look at this one example dob element there is a property is value tag name is image and src source from the image has been taken alternate name id is icon n so now next example is get element by name here we have a uh, can we can access the element by name so variable x document get element by name my input x length element script body so there are three buttons are there three form elements are there uh, we have to input the name uh, and box text box are of 20 character size as soon as we press three names it will count 
uh, input name button on click there is a event handler there is on click event get element elements value how many input value are in the body it will count and it will display number of value we entered in these three boxes like i have entered three names there is output is three so uh, like want to return the in innermost of the first anchor in a document so here we have a first anchor a a name second third we can return the value like inner html the first anchor this document this document script tag document write document anchor input html first anchor second anchor because we have three anchors are there first anchor second anchor third anchor are there and innermost is the first anchor so here we have learned about the different uh, concepts of document object model and the need of the html dom and we have seen how to implement dom to access html objects thank you Thank you.